giving you direction. I need you to get off state property. You, you don't have authorization to be out here recording. If you don't leave state property, I will call the police. Names and badge numbers, please. No badge numbers. Did you just call me an idiot? Yeah. <laughs> So you think it's professional to call members of the public idiots? How about you take your shades and hat off so you can get a good description of you? Yeah, like I said, no. You're on state property. I, I understand you said that many times I'm on state property. Yep, you're not authorized to be on state property. I'm not allowed to record in the facility. I'm, I'm just trying to file a complaint, you sir. You record in the facility. Someone's letting you know you can't record in the facility. You can come in, but the phone has to go off. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today's order takes place at the correctional facility in New Haven, Corrupticate. A correctional officer contacted this platform and was able to get this video taken down shortly after it was released. We the people will not stand for censorship. Please like and share this video so the world can see what they didn't want them to. Their ignorance and tyranny. Let me know your thoughts on government censorship in the comment section below. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we go inside, let's take a look around. There is a public parking garage attached to the correctional facility. So let's go take a look around the facility here. So the New Haven Community Correctional Center has its own parking garage. Does not say anything about it being restricted to the public. So therefore it is publicly accessible. Purpose why you're recording on state grounds? Excuse me, sir? Any purpose why you're recording on state grounds? Uh, who are you? Any purpose why you're recording on state grounds? Yeah, there is. Who are you? I'm just asking a question. Yeah, I'm just asking you one in return, sir. That's all. I just yeah, want yeah, to yeah, yeah. No, just I want to know who I was speaking to. That's all. Yeah, yeah. You don't give me an answer. I don't give you an answer. Excuse me. Hi. You can't be on state property recording right now. Hi. How are you? Who are you? I'm Captain Atkinson. Captain Atkinson. And, I need you to go and to your name? Right and your name's? Excuse me. I'm talking to you right now. Yeah, I and, and I'm just disrespectfully, ca respectfully, Captain. I just want to get their names. Can you I get your to names? Get their names. I'm the captain here. Okay? Right. And I'm giving you direction. I need you to get off state property. You you don't have authorization to be out here recording. So please get off state. Who property. would I get who who would I get authorization from, Captain? You. This is state property. No, right. it's not me. But if you don't leave state property, I will call the police. Okay? This is state property. This is state property. I so it's public property. I need you to leave the premises right now. Otherwise, we're gonna call. Can you, leave the you can call whoever you need to call, Captain. I just want to get their names. Um, okay. Gardner. I'd like to get the names of everybody I'm speaking to, okay. Captain. That's all. You have no authorization to be out here recording. I'm asking you nicely. Can you please leave the premises? I understand you're asking me nicely, and I appreciate you asking me nicely, but there, this is not a restricted area. I'm not breaking any you're laws. You're on state property right now reporting people's license plate. I understand that I'm on state property. I understand that okay. people's license plates are in public view, yes. And it's possible that you're not that's... authorized to be down here recording. So I'm going to ask you nicely again. Who authorized me to be here? You don't have authorization. How would you know that? To, this is state property. How do you know I don't have authorization to be here, man? So you guys work for the state, the Department of Corrections. Exercising their rights to remain silent. Listen, man, you gotta exit the property, man. You gotta get out. I don't know what you're looking for. I don't. I'm not looking for anything. You could stay here, and I'll go about my business. I'm not looking for anything. Okay, you can you can stay on the curb. You can anything. Oh, I could stand right here. Right. I could stand right here. Thank you, though. This is public property, right? Right. You don't want to answer that question? Okay. That's fine. The captain can try and assert her perceived authority all she wants. It's not going to work on me. She's not even a law enforcement officer. I have my two bodyguards following me around here. My man, you need to stay away from people with poverty, man. Those squad. Those are people with poverty. Yeah, I need to stay away from that. Stay away from what? People's cars. People's cars? Yeah, that's what you're doing right now. You're recording people's cars. You can't do that. Why couldn't I do that? Because you just can't. Just, I just can't. There's no law or anything. Just I just can't. They're in public. Are these state vehicles or personal vehicles? 
Do you know? A mix of both? Sorry? What'd you say, sir? No, I didn't hear you. I would have heard you. I didn't hear you. No, I didn't. You said it under your breath. Exactly what I said. Let's take off and have them so we can get a good description. You? Just no. You're on state property. I, I understand you said that many times. I'm on state property. Yep. You're not authorized to on state property. Who Who says that? You're not authorized to on state property. Who do I need to get authorization from to be on taxpayer funded property, sir? Do you know who I'd go seek that permission? To exercise my rights and hold my government accountable and promote transparency. If you're gonna say something, you should just say it, not so under your breath. I'll let you take a season hat off so we can get a good description of you. Yeah, like I said, no, I don't want to do that. Why? Hey, how are you? Take a season hat off, man. You mind if I get your names and badge numbers? Huh? Names and badge numbers, please. No badge Did you just call me an idiot? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Na Can I get your name, please? My name's on my shirt. Your name's on your shirt. Okay. Excuse me. Let's get out of the way. I don't don't want to be standing in the middle of the uh, parking garage. So you think it's professional to call members of the public idiots? I'm, I'm talking to this gentleman right here, right now, sir. Just, I understand that. So do you think it's do you, do you think that it's appropriate to call members of the public idiots? I think it's appropriate that you take your hat and your uh, glasses off, so you can. Well, get a, that's get fine. A you can you can think whatever you want, but I'm I'm asking you as a public servant. Do you think that it's appropriate to call a member of the public an idiot? Do you think that's professional, cordial? I don't think so. I'm not calling you names, am I? I'm sure I can call you a bunch of names, but I, I won't. Sir, so at this point, I'm going to exercise my rights and remain silent. I don't want to speak to anybody. I already spoke to a captain. I don't know. What's, what's your rank here? Are you above a captain or below a captain? Because I already spoke to the captain. I'm not above or below. You're not above or below. To the side? To one you want to I'm just asking you, sir. That's all. I'm you came, you you came over here. With, I understand. I said you came over here to speak to me, so I'm just engaging conversation with you, sir. That's all. I just would like to know your rank. That's it. Every question I ask, no one wants to. No one wants to answer me. <laughs> so why should I answer any of your questions? Your rank's on your shirt. Okay. All right. You guys, ex you guys expect me to answer all your questions, but you don't want to answer any of mine. And then you want a name call. I'm not calling you names. I'm not escalating. I'm not. I'm asking you questions. And okay, and I ask you a question, you answer it. Right, so I guess we're just not going to answer each other's questions. We'll a I'm sorry. Well, we have a stalemate. Yeah, we're at a stalemate, right, sir? You're right. You're right. Saying things under your breath that nobody can hear—it's just unprofessional, you know. If if you're going to say something, have the guts to say it. He said he called me an idiot right to my face. Why couldn't you say what you wanted to say to my face? It's not good to talk about talk about people behind their back. It's like a it's like being a coward, you know. That's all. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, sir. Thank you. Excuse me, how would I file a complaint against an officer? Does anybody anybody know how I'd file a complaint against an officer? Captain? Maybe you'll know. Hey Captain. Do you Captain, know? I'm not to you no, no, I'm talking to you, ma'am. Do you do you know how I'd file a complaint? Did you get educated? Ma'am? Did you do you know how I'd file a complaint against an officer, ma'am? Captain, you know how I file a complaint against an officer? One of your officers called me an idiot. 
I think that was very unprofessional of him. So no answer on how do I file a complaint. There's got to be a complaint process. Well, Captain, I'm glad somebody educated you. Maybe be a little more cordial. I'll just come inside and uh, file that complaint, I guess. Beautiful American flag, freedom. Captain got her education today. Hi, sir. You're not allowed to record in the facility. I'm, I'm just trying to file a complaint, you sir. You're not record in the facility. Someone's letting you know you can't record in the facility. You can come in, but the phone has to go off. Because there's no electronic is, devices what, going on with the Where does it facility. say that I can't record in the facility? I just filed a complaint at another correction, uh, Department of Corrections, and the supervisor's there didn't have an issue with it. It's a public lobby, sir. Excuse me. Can I help you? Yes, yeah, so I'd like to file a complaint. What's the process for that against the officer? Okay, can can you summon a supervisor for me? They're all out there. They're all out here already. Can I speak to a supervisor? Yeah, so I just wanted to uh, file a complaint against one of the officers. Uh, he didn't identify himself to me, uh, but you know, I, I was talking to him how I'm talking to you all right now. I wasn't trying to escalate the situation. Um, I was just trying to ask some questions on the Department of Corrections here. I'm working on a story on the Department of Corrections as a whole. I just came from the uh, Bridgeport uh, Correctional uh, Facility, excuse me. And um, so, yeah, and he just, you know, he said that I was an idiot, looking for fame and all these things. So I think that was a little bit unprofessional, so I wanted to file a complaint. Do you know the, the formal processor for that? Okay. Um, do you know the name or anything? He didn't identify himself. I'm sure it's on his, um, I'm sure it's, as he said, it was on his shirt. So I'm sure I have it on his shirt somewhere. Uh, but is there like a form that I can take with me? There's no form for filing a complaint against a correctional officer? You could contact the supervisor. We could look into it. Right. Um, you know, but as That's, far as the form, there is no So form. if an inmate, for example, wanted to file a complaint against a correctional officer, there's no form he can fill out? He has to speak to somebody? You could speak to somebody. You could do an inmate request form, things of that nature, but that's not for a civilian to fill out. Okay, so for, there's no civilian process for filing a complaint against a correctional officer other than speaking to somebody directly? Yeah, you can. I mean, you could contact CSP if you'd like to. Um, CSP is on their way right now, so. Okay, I can I State Police on their way right now. But, I mean, they, they, they're not going to handle any internal. They're law enforcement. They're not going to. They don't handle complaints against officers. Can I get your name and title, sir? Sure. Deputy Warden Demetrius. Deputy Warden Demetrius? Thank you, Deputy Warden. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I would just like to, you know, can I can I get somebody's email or something that I could send a complaint in, a written complaint, just because I'd rather not, you know, tie up your resources all day here. Sure, you could, you could, you could do it. Is there like a public, yeah, is there, is there an email? Do you have like a card or something I can email you? Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. See, before today, you thought that recording was illegal on state property, right? So you learned something today, and that's what counts here. I love to learn. Thank you so much, Deputy Warren. Right. I appreciate it. Have a great day, sir. Have a great day, ma'am. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to hang around all day. We have our contact information for the, he gave me the contact information for Christopher Brunel, the warden here, the New Haven Correctional Center. He said the Connecticut State Police are on the way, but I don't really want to wait for them. I didn't break any laws and I wasn't prevented or kept out of any publicly accessible area, so there's really no need for them to come here. It's just a big waste of resources, if you ask me. But definitely started off really shaky, ladies and gentlemen. Really, really shaky. Approached by, you know, the captain, 
some officers who wanted to call me names. I mean, like, that's really going to affect me calling me an idiot or whatever you say. I mean, I have pretty thick skin. Really doesn't matter to me. It's just unprofessional and, you know, as a public servant, you should treat the public with respect and dignity and there's and respect their constitutional rights. But there's no excuse for treating somebody that way, especially when you're receiving taxpayer-funded salary. So we'll follow up with the warden and issue a complaint against the officers. The captain escalated the situation. Luckily, the deputy warden, Dimitri, he was very knowledgeable on our constitutional rights, I would say. He came in, de-escalated the situation, called off the officers who were following me around, like, you know, my bodyguards and when I went to go inside, and another officer stood up right in front of me and said, you can't record inside of the public lobby. And again, the deputy warden had no issue with me recording in the public lobby, as he shouldn't. Transparency and accountability, right, ladies and gentlemen? So, our constitutional rights were upheld today. A lot of correctional officers were educated, so that's always a good thing. They learned that they cannot just bully free men and women around. They're so used to bullying people on the inside and ordering people around that they forget that outside of those walls they have no authority and that they need to treat people with kindness and respect and recognize our rights so let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below as always stay safe god bless i'll see you in the next video long island audit peace